Hey and welcome to our tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this Disney Junior logo inside Microsoft Word and it will be fairly easy because we will be using fonts which, I, which are kind of matching the, the original logo. So the bottom one is a picture, the top one is a logo created inside Microsoft Word and we will be using fonts Valtograph and font uh, named Futura, Futura Press. I will put a link for both of those to the description so just so you can download it before actually creating this logo. So I will start in the blank document where I already have this logo pasted in and I will insert a new shape of course being the uh, text box and I will just you know type in Disney and change the font to Valtograph. I first have to turn off the spell checking just so I don't see this uh, you know red underline and I will raise the size to I don't know maybe like this. I will change the shape fill to no fill and outline to no outline and resize it just so I can see the entire font. Maybe I will make it a little bit smaller, maybe like 105. That seems about right. Okay, so this is the Disney. I will probably copy paste this shape one more time and I will type in Junior Junior. And I will change the font to be this uh, Futura Press. And as you can see immediately I also get this, uh, you know, head of the Disney character so we don't have to do it it's it's already there I just have to increase the size of the of the label to kind of match the logo so I don't know maybe 155 also you will notice that the spacing between letters is much smaller so what I can do is I can open the font properties and in the advanced tab I will change the space, spacing to be condensed I don't know by, maybe like by five points or so that also means that I have to again increase this a little bit, so maybe 160, 165. I don't know. We cannot get the very same looking you know, logo, but we have to get close. I think I believe that this is close enough. So I will move everything to the top just so I can see the original logo which is on the bottom and our new logo which is on top. And I will right click any of those shapes and select the format shape. And for this text, I will set the text field to be a red color. Maybe this default one is fine, maybe I will make it just a little bit darker. And I believe the font used is around, I don't know, the 230 and 50 for green and blue, so a darker red. And I want a little bit of uh, extrusion, so the 3Dness. So I will open the effects and for the 3D rotation I will select preset being the perspective front and increase the depth to some higher value maybe 50 maybe even more maybe even like 80 or so i don't want you know a very harsh or very strong high um, no shading so i will change the lighting until i will see something which is kind of you know everything looks kind of similar maybe like this so 110 there is a little bit of hint of some shading but uh, you know it's almost like a flat color then i will open the depth properties for the colors maybe I will first select the red one, open the more colors and make it just a little bit darker. So maybe like, I don't know, maybe like this. This should be fine, maybe just, you know, just, just a little bit darker. Like this. Okay, that's kind of, that's kind of matching the bottom logo. I have to still make an adjustment in the free rotation and that is to make it look a little bit like from the bottom, but this, this, this is too much. And it may be confusing because we are jumping between 0 degrees and 355, but the 0 really means 360. So what I will do is I will maybe change this to 358 or so. This seems about right. Or 7. Now what we need to do is, uh, if you take a closer look at the logo, the label junior is kind of uh, darker on the bottom. So I will change for the text, I will change the fill to gradient fill. And as you can see, I already have the you know gradient predefined. But if I start with the default gradient, one of the stops should be our red color, which we have you know already used. And for the second stop, I can also use this red color. But of course, open the more colors properties and make this color just a little bit darker, so it's darker from the bottom. And the left stop shouldn't be on the very left side, but it should be like from around the middle or so. So only the bottom part is being affected by the darker gradient. Now the other thing which is missing is this head on the on this letter. It's kind of black. I can still do this with the gradient. I can add another gradient stop being the red one and one more being the black. 
then I have to just position everything properly being this you know red and black as close as possible to create this uh, strong uh, transition and I get the black head together with the part of the layer being black as well so that should be a good start the Disney logo should be of course up on top and you can see it's a little bit corrupt from the left side so I'll probably insert a space character so I can see the entire letter D I will bring this to front and of course resize from the bottom so I can see the entire letter Y move it around here and you can see that below the letter D there is like a white space so I'll insert a new shape being the oval the oval which is this one set the fill to be white and no outline open the selection pane and move this below the first text just so you know the junior text is being cropped by this uh, oval okay so what we are missing we are missing those two yellow dots so i will zoom in as much as i can over the eye layer like this and i will insert a new shape being this oval in very small size and it was probably some of the yellow colors maybe not that yellow maybe a little bit of orange maybe like this and the outline there was the outline in like a dark red or maybe even like a brownish color maybe like this i will copy paste it one more time and zoom out to see if it resembles the logo at least a little bit seems like it is i will just position it using my arrow keys and really the only missing part is the shadow below the junior logo or junior label i will probably insert a few rectangles like this which will be matching the sizes of the individual letters then i will blur this and rotate this, this in the free space so bear with me i'll just copy paste it a few more times like this i will select all of them set the fill to black and the outline to no outline in the effects i will set the soft edges which is kind of like a blurring to maybe like i don't know 20 points or maybe 15 points maybe 20 is fine i will group everything and use a 3d rotation so 3d preset one of those free presets and rotate it in a free space like this and of course move it below send to back that's probably too much to the back because there is this image which has this white background so i need to send this back as well so i can see those shadows and maybe show the selection pane just so i can see this group on and, and i can actually select this group i may still want to adjust the positions of the individual rectangles to make sure that they are matching the position of those letters and i may actually use one of those shapes and copy paste it one more time make it bigger and a little bit faded so i will change the fill to be a semi-transparent so i'll open format shape and change the fill to be a little bit of transparent of course move it to the wrong, uh, right spot maybe one more time maybe give it a little bit of more blur like i don't know 40 points you know you can do whatever you want you know the more shadows you are stacking on top of each other the better the result will probably be but i'm pretty happy with just having those three different shapes that is one group with uh, individual shapes and two bigger shapes i will move it as closely to the to the text as possible and if i zoom out you can see that we did get a very similar result as the original logo so that's how you create the disney junior uh, logo inside microsoft word that's it thanks for watching